going on guys? Mr. AGZ here bringing you this Pokemon X and Y multi-battle. And I really wanted to bring this because in my opinion this is one of the <laughs> funnier battles of, of them all. So Randy's coming in. We've got Randy, Sukuyo, we've got myself, Josen, and Terra. Now look at these pokes, okay? Start off on our side. We've got Venusaur, we've got Cloyster, we've got Landorus. Terra's got Medicham, has got the Noivern, has got the Gastrodon. Now, Randy's in there with Vanette. He's got the Seraptor and the Dark Rye. Sequoia's got what the? Oddish? What the Oddish? Gothita? Mankey? Oh, there's no way Sequoia's gonna win. No way. No way. Not in this free for all battle. This is actually a free for all battle. There's no way, right? 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 Well, we'd find out. Here we go. Darkrai and Mankey comes out to begin the battle here. That's a nice shiny Mankey. I'm going to send out Fertilizer, my Venusaur, and Vishnu, the Medicham, comes out. So Medicham's going to go ahead and Mega Evolve right now. Bam, look at that beautiful thing right there. Um, there's the Evolved Medicham. I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve to raise my defenses up. I know I'm going to need it. Roar. <laughs> Roar says my fertilizer. Or I guess if he had to use words, it'd be fertilizer. I don't know. Here comes a fake out on the dark ride, doing massive damage because of the crit. Mankey's going to U-turn, nearly finish off the dark ride, and switch out. So no no issues there. I'm 100% happy with that. Niplub's going to come in with Oddish. What the Oddish? What the Oddish? We're going to run Sleep Powder. However, dark ride avoids my attack. Figures he avoids my attack. Here comes a bullet punch. That is going to finish off the Darkrai. Darkrai goes down and out. Thank you, Terra. We're going to put you to sleep now. You need the rest. <laughs> so we put Terra to sleep, her Medicham. Um, Oddish was having the same idea to do that. Here comes Bennett. Bennett comes in and is going to Mega Evolve. So we've had Darkrai. Now we have Bennett. I love the zippers. Although it's an interesting concept. They need to do more with it, in my opinion. Vishnu is asleep, the Medicham. I'm going to go ahead and use Sleep Powder on the Banette. So Banette now asleep. <laughs> now asleeps the Banette. He's just completely out. There you go. Fast asleep. Fast asleep, sir. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And yeah, here comes Sleep Powder, but I already put it to sleep. The Oddish trying to get some stats fixed. Now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> My goal in this battle, once I saw the Little Cup team, was to see if the, the Little Cup team could win at all costs. I so badly wanted to see the Little Cup team win in this. So you'll see me making some moves that I should have done. You'll see, you'll see. So Vishnu wakes up. He's going to run a Psycho Cut on me. Tara's really upset at me, but I don't blame her for being upset at me. Not at all. We're going to go ahead and run my Energy Ball on the Bayonet. Finish it off. Bayonet goes down and out. And now comes a Sludge Bomb from the Oddish. And oh my word, look at how much damage that Sludge Bomb did. Over half damage on the Medicham. So here comes Staraptor. He's going to get that quick attack off on my Fertilizer. That's going to finish me off, unfortunately. So goodbye, Crow World. I was really hoping that Vishnu would have ran a attack on me. Because then he wouldn't have attacked the Oddish. He's going to run Drain Punch on the Oddish. Going to get some health back. And the Oddish is going to run another Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb hitting on the Medicham. However, Medicham survives with 6 HP. Not bad. Not bad. We're going to Ice Shard Medicham and finish off the Medicham. So down he goes. And uh, here comes a Brave Bird from Staraptor to finish off the Oddish. That's very unfortunate. So Oddish goes down and out as well. So <laughs> interesting. So here comes Shannon, the Gastrodon, and Mankey, the Mankey. <laughs> Mankey the Mankey. Haha. -ha. Now, here comes the Ice Punch from the Mankey. He's going to hit the Staraptor, nearly finish it off. We're going to run Ice School Spear on the Staraptor, and down goes Staraptor. So one opponent is down and out. Hit one time. So Staraptor is gone. Here comes a Scald. Fortunately for me, it doesn't burn my Cloister. Mankey's going to withdraw, and he's going to send out Gothita. 
So Gothita comes out, that nice little pink head. He's going to frisk my Focus Sash and the leftovers on the um, Gastrodon. We kind of figured that would happen. I'm going to go ahead and run Rock Blast like an idiot on the, <laughs> on the Gastrodon. I actually should have ran Icicle Spear. Um, I don't know why I did that. Uh, Shannon's going to use Substitute to try to stall out just a little bit and to save himself a turn. Here comes the lefties. The lefties is going to cure up Shannon a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and run Icicle Spear. Now, Icicle Spear is going to do a lot more damage on Shannon than the Rock Blast. So after three hits, that's going to cause that Substitute to fade with two more hits coming. So with that being the case, there's really no point in Terra running Substitute anymore. She'll realize that after this. Gothita is going to run Calm Mind to become super, super, super strong. Bam. There it is. Super strong Gothita. Now, here comes the Skull. It's going to hit us. We're able to survive it, fortunately. Um, there is the lefties from Shannon. So now on this next turn, I'm going to go ahead and Icicle Spear Shannon, hoping to take it out or come really close. There's two hits. There's three hits. There's four hits. And here's my fifth one. Taking it down to 31 HP. Gothita is going to use Psychic on the Gastrodon, and the Psychic attack finishes off Gastrodon, Shannon. So, down goes Gastrodon. Um, Gothita is going to lose some HP. Terra's going to send out Noivern next. Noivern, that big guy. We're going to go ahead and frisk the Life Orb. Or, he's going to frisk the Life Orb. I'm going to go ahead and run an Ice Shard, and that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Um, he's going to run Boom Burst, so Boom Burst is going to hurt everybody here. Finish it off my Cloister. Gothita, the bulk, survives. And he's going to run Thunderbolt on the Noivern <laughs> to finish off Terra's Noivern with a crit hit nonetheless. So down goes Noivern. Now it's one-on-one -on -one between myself and Gothita, who's got Life Orb as well. So I'm sending in my Landers. If I really wanted to, I could use U-Turn. But I so badly, I've never wanted to lose more than this. <laughs> Rather than use U-Turn, I'm going to go ahead and use Hammer Arm. I know he resists it, hoping he'd survive, but it didn't work. But it does detriment myself. It does lower my speed. So, lowers my speed. That's fine. I'm going to lose some HP from my Life Orb. Here comes Mankey. Mankey's got Ice Punch. We know that. So, I'm hoping for the Ice Punch. There's the Ice Punch since my speed is lowered. And that isn't able to kill me. I'm going to go ahead and go to U-Turn because I know that's not going to work very well against Mankey. It shouldn't because it's a bug type. Um, and I'm going to go down to my Life Orb. And because of that, that's the game and the little cup team of Mankey, Gothita, and Oddish. Pull off the victory. Great job, Sukuyo. <laughs> Great battle. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Remember, the road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Until next time, catch them all.